And we are live at Miriam's Kitchen this morning where breakfast is being made. They will be serving over 200 homeless people today and how it has been challenging during this crisis. We'll talk about it coming up. We're seeing a lot of people in our area stepping up to help those less fortunate during these really tough times. Good morning, Washington. John Gonzalez is live at Miriam's Kitchen in Northwest with a look at how they're helping their neighbors this morning. Hey, John. Hey, Robert, good morning. You know, at a time when many restaurants and kitchens in the D.C. area are throwing in the flag, the towel, if you will, and closing, some don't even have the option. They have to close. Here at Miriam's Kitchen, it is full steam ahead, and you can see a flurry of activity inside the kitchen where they feed over 200 homeless people daily. But this is where the operation changes each morning. Instead of feeding in the dining area here next to the kitchen, they are having to pack the food and putting them in these hot boxes. Boxes and then setting up an area outside to feed the homeless. Scott Shekelberg, just inside the kitchen, six feet away from me. Uh, you're the CEO <laughs> of Miriam's Kitchen, Scott. Uh, a challenge right now for you guys to continue to operate the way you normally would. Yeah, absolutely. So as an organization that a lot of our guests, those are the people that we serve, rely on for not only food but connection to a whole variety of social services and just information. We felt imperative that we maintain operations in some way that was safe. And for us, that, that simply meant that we needed to shift our operations to this to-go meal model and move everything outside. So we have tents set up outside of our facility that people can come, get a meal, get a cup of coffee, talk to a case manager if needed. And we do some non-medical screenings of people. If people are showing COVID-19-like symptoms, we can get them uh, access to you know, DC Health Services so that they can get treatment and get seen right away. Scott, how can we as a community help you, uh, volunteers, food? What does Miriam's Kitchen need? Well, right now we're in a unique situation. While we would normally love volunteers and donations of in-kind goods, it's just not safe for people to be showing up here at our facility. The biggest thing people can do is donate money now. Our operations are, we're spending more money to do this sort of operation because we can't rely on in-kind donations, etc. So making cash donations to Miriam's Kitchen is probably the best thing that people can do. Thank you, Scott. We're going to be with Scott and Chef Cheryl and the whole crew here all morning. Next hour, we're going to be outside and show you the setup outside. They've set up tents and they're going to do a, a very, uh, uh, meticulous operation as they feed these men and women this morning. Back to you inside.